up? Good morning. We're, we're here to check with you. You knew we were coming? It's not time for y'all to be here yet. I don't usually even wake up this early. I want you to know that. So you got up for us? I got up for y'all, okay? So I don't want this. It's a one-time thing, all right? I, I appreciate your space, though. God, I didn't even wash my damn face yet. I still look good, though. So, you know, y'all come here at the right morning. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking good, looking nice. I mean... I'm roll yeah. on, got my chain on, got my watch on. So what are we doing? Uh, you show us around. Take us into your space. Like, I'm, I'm in awe. Oh, y'all want a tour? Yeah. That's what you want. Let's okay, go. that's what I got the house for anyway. All right, man. I, I'll take you around, man. This, this is like my little, um... It's my little off-limits room, as you can see right here. Okay, got so it. what's you off? You even got it on the wall. Okay. It's my off limits room. I don't know if you can read, but it says do not enter never. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to come in this room. Oh, blah. I mean, it's not too high tech. I ain't really finished yet. But you know, at the end of the day, I'm a dude. You know what I'm saying? Men don't usually supposed to go all out on the decorations. You know what I'm saying? So I but just I mean, did. It's red horse though. What's up with this? I bought this horse just because I thought it looked dope. I really haven't even looked at it since I bought it, but people come in here and they see a horse and it's just automatically like, wow. It kind of like saves, it kind of like makes up for like the lack of furniture in here. I never go in this room. Come over here. Where are you taking it? I'm gonna take y'all to the kitchen. I don't know if y'all can read, but I don't cook. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I do. I do a lot of shit. I'm gonna tell you, I do a lot of shit, but I don't cook. You know what I mean? So I, I really don't know why I even have a kitchen, to be honest with you. You got the little nice camo black backsplash, or whatever you call it. You know what I mean? You got the nice little kitchen. Listen to this. You know what I'm saying? That sound like my music. Fire. <laughs> I'm gonna just show you my fridge. I'm gonna show you why I don't cook. I usually eat out. This is why. I don't have shit to eat. So I have to leave my house, you know what I'm saying? This is some old uh, Chipotle, got a few eggs. The eggs is expired, you know what I'm saying? Like I would eat it, but it's expired. My house, I really just wanted to go clean. I wanted to go clean, white, you know what I'm saying? Nice and fresh, blah, blah, blah. Invite a little, you know, little lady over here, she look at it, she's like, oh, this is clean, it's nice. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was going for, so, you know, I'm usually like, I wear all black. That's usually what I go for, but I want to be the opposite of what I usually do. So I went all white walls, just a little splash of the black in it, blah, 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 blah. Let me take you out to my favorite part of the house, though. I don't even want to play around. I don't mess around in here. Let me let y'all know right now. I would sit here and cook for you, but you're not going to eat it. You're not going to want to eat it. So I'm going to come over here. OK, I know it's super early. What's the first thing you did when you got out of bed? Got out of bed. I woke up. I always put my chain on because I like to remind myself of success. You know what I'm saying? I put a lot of money through this shit. It's COVID. I can't really go out like that, so I put the chain on. Made myself feel like I'm doing some shit, you know what I mean? I wake up, brush my teeth, get dressed, take a shower. Actually, take a shower first, then I get dressed, and then uh, start my day. I usually start my day with coffee, though. Irish cream cold brew is what I've been rocking with lately. Two shots of espresso. Turn me up a little bit, get me a little jacked up. Start my day real nice. You know, grown man shit. A lot of people don't know this, but before I started making music, before I ever posted a video on YouTube or any of that, the Warriors, before they signed Stephen Curry, they was looking at me. And they was like, DDG, you know what I'm saying, bro? Please, we got 200 million for you. You know what I'm saying? 200 million one season. I'm like, man. I'll make it 300, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, make it 300 one season. And they was like, bro, we ain't got that right now. So I'm like, holla at me later. And then I just fell in love with music. They've been DMing me every day since. And I just haven't been with it. So this is my basketball court. This is where I go practice here and there sometimes, you know what I'm saying? All right. Like, you know, I noticed LeBron been struggling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? LeBron, if you watching this, my nigga, I've been DMing LeBron, I've been telling him, if he want to make it to the finals, he want to win every single year, it's best that he he tell the Lakers to pick me up. That's hilarious. You mentioned YouTube, and you were going to go to the, you were going to play ball before YouTube. I got it. What inspired you to put your music on YouTube? 
I mean, YouTube is the hub for everything. Music videos, content, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's really nothing. YouTube does it all. You know what I'm saying? I, I would shoot this mother, but I dunk. You know what I'm saying? That's what I, you know, that's what I do, so. I'm gonna go ahead a little dunk for y'all, something light. I don't wanna do too much. I don't wanna give away too much sauce, but we just gonna, I got sandals on, by the way. You ready? Yep, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Something, something light, 10 feet. 10 feet, you know what I'm saying? I usually practice on 12 feet, but today I was just gonna go ahead and do the little 10 feet joint for y'all. I'm with it. Nothing crazy, you know what I mean? I'm with it. DDG court, make sure you get that. Custom court. It's fly. I, I let I, people know before they come on here that it's my court. So don't come on here thinking you can beat me. You know what I'm saying? I don't get beat on this court. I dunk on I shoot on I do it all. You know what I mean? I. This is my court. A lot of ankles been took. No cap. I love it. Well, then what advice would you give to somebody who looks at you as a fan of yours and wants to make music like that, but they don't have money for studio time or they don't have a whole lot of sophisticated equipment? The advice that I would give somebody that don't, like, have the money to, to like, you know, like, to um, record or whatever you want to call it, you got to work. Work for it. Everybody can get a job. Get you a job, invest in yourself. That's really what it's about, like... You know, it's excuses and everything. If you really want it bad, you're gonna go get it. That's the thing. So, you know, when I was back in, in high school or whatever, I used to work at Kroger, TJ Maxx. I used to make $200 a week. When I was working at Kroger, I was making $60 a week. They was paying me $4. I think that was slavery, to be honest. It was crazy, but I made that money and I reinvested it into making, giving me a little camera or whatever. Got me a camera. Got me a little laptop, all that other shit. Whoop, whoop, bought my laptop off Craigslist. And I made millions of dollars off that, that little laptop. So, you know, it's all about just following your dreams, staying consistent. This is my first gold record right here. Um, Arguments. I made this song about a particular female that I was in a relationship with. And she broke my heart, you know? So I decided, you know, I'm gonna make a song about this shit. Made a song and it went gold. Dope. What was and the reaction I, it's, when you It's an R&B song actually, so, you know, for the ladies watching right now, your boy just don't rap. I also sing, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna sing right, and I'm gonna get you right. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it gold off. So, you know. So where else flex. do you find inspiration? Is it, you said it's a girl, like other singles, where do you find inspiration for your music? My biggest inspiration is females. Like, I feel like, when I make music, that's the thing. Cause I'm not, in, you know, I'm from the hood, but I don't live that life. You know what I'm saying? I'm not selling drugs and I'm not killing my, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, my main focus is like making money and, and fall in love. Like <laughs> that's really all I be doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't do much. So my relationships take a lot of my time. So it's like when I'm in these relationships, if I'm in a relationship with a girl, I'm gonna spend a lot of time with her. And that's all I really get inspiration from. So it's like, say we get into arguing about some shit, and I go to the studio that night, that's what I'm gonna talk about. And I realize every relationship is the same. Everybody go through the same shit. That's how you get a gold record, because you relate to people. As you've been climbing, like, what was the best piece of advice you've ever gotten? The best piece of advice that I can honestly give any up and coming artist is don't wait on your label. When you get signed, that don't mean you made it. You still gotta move like you're independent. And you know, that's how I got my hit Moonwalking in Calabasas. Like, I wasn't really communicating with my, my label as much. And I was like, man, like this shit is like slowing me down. Like I'm waiting on y'all, whoop, all this other stuff. And um, it caused me to just move independently and just drop music when I wanted to drop music. And you know, I got a hit off of that. So it's like, you just gotta be consistent. Can't wait on nobody. This is a chill area right here. Probably gonna turn this into like a, you know, like a little game room, throw a little pool table down here. You know, some pool, all that other stuff. Something real nice, blah, blah, blah. This is movie theater, but this is also demon time. You know, something light, nice little theater, but this is state of the art. This right here, this sounds like actual movie theater, like, it's not a game, this is not no TV. All right, Rap City, 
106 in Park or Uncut? I used to watch 106 in Park every day. Yeah. I always dreamed of being on that show. Y'all never put me on it. You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's, it's all love. You know what I'm saying? I know how this shit go. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make it a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. It's all good, though. I ain't tripping. I ain't gonna hold you to it, but like, you know, I wanted to be on. That was my, I wanted to be on that. To this point, what's been your favorite thing about your career? My favorite thing about my career, I would say, is expanding. Like, to be honest, I know how big I'm finna be already. It's just about rolling it out correctly and, you know, just letting it happen. Like, I already know I was gonna be at this point in life. I knew I was gonna buy a mansion. I knew I was gonna get to fly cars. I knew I was gonna make the money, the blah, 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 all this other stuff. It was just about when I was gonna make it happen. So it's like, it's just dope to see all my plans manifesting and coming out. This is great, so like, what are we doing for the rest of the day? What you mean? Like, we about to hang out. Like, you show me the space, we can play ball. I might, you know, whip something Oh, up. no, I thought this was, I, this was the last part. It is? You know, I got shit to do. Like, I'm a busy, I'm a busy person. But I mean, like, you got cool, like it's stuff to do. Like it's, it's stuff here in the house. Like I can hang out at the house. Like No, 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 that's not what this is. You just fired up the, the movie theater for Listen, me and everything? Like, I didn't know that's what you want. I'm gonna turn this off because I don't want to give you the wrong impression. So, uh, so yeah, like, I gotta go. But You really thought, who told y'all y'all can stay? I mean, I, I thought that, you know, we were cool. We passed the shooting time, man, come on. This way. Uh, I mean, Come on, guys. It's been about 30, 30 minutes. Well, okay, okay. I got shit to do. All right, DDG. It's been cool as hell. Your, your space is fly as it was. I, okay, I get it. Yeah. It's, it's time to go, huh? All right, you can head out. Go ahead. Right. See ya. Thank you. Deuce, deuce. Bye bye.